Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nash, and welcome to my channel for the first toddler episode of the Super Sim Challenge. Welcome back, you guys. In the last episode, our Super Sim Willow, who is on the screen right now, made it to the toddler phase, you guys. We got through all the infant milestones. We got through all of the infant foods, uh, or trying all the infant foods, and now we are moving on to the toddler portion of this challenge, which is so exciting. We have skills, finally. So we need to complete all of the toddler skills, max all of those out, and then we have some other uh, toddler specific milestones to accomplish so today we're gonna get started on those we are hopefully gonna be making willow a friend today as well we're gonna go travel and visit it's gonna be a fun episode so i can't wait let's jump right in and get started now i'm actually not gonna show you guys uh what will is doing <laughs> because she is potty training hence why i uh what mom whoa <laughs> mom is getting busy on these weeds over here look at her go she loves the outdoors she loves gardening um and it is fantastic anyways yeah willow is doing her potty training so that's why i i did a super close-up zoom because uh it just happened that when i was starting this episode she had to go to the bathroom and i didn't i don't want to show the full thing if you guys know what i mean uh just because it's a little awkward but we're yeah we'll just put the walls up <laughs> it's fine uh anyways it is a skill that we need to accomplish she does need to max out the potty training skill uh this skill only gets to level three so it shouldn't be too difficult i don't know if mom's stuck in a loop here uh but look at those weeds going around oh i think she is uh heavily stuck in a loop let me see if i can see if i can help her that that leaf just flew and kind of scared the pants off of me uh, so let's go harvest all the bell peppers. This is currently how we are making money in the game uh, because I don't want to get the parents a job quite yet um, or actually at all. But there we go. Reach gardening level three. Good job, Wilhelmina. That is awesome. So yeah, we are going to be starting on toddler progress today and I am excited to get her started on skills. She really has to go to the bathroom. So this is like perfect for her. Is mom sad? Oh, why is she sad? Why is she uh, crying? Acquire the potty skill. Potty training makes dirty diapers a thing of the past. Potty skill teaches toddlers to use the potty chair and improves improve it by having an adult train the toddler. So um, Willow is an independent toddler sim. So she actually kind of likes doing things by herself. I think mom is very sad. Yeah, so unfulfilled dreams. She's very sad because she, oh, look at Willow being like, I just went to the potty for the first time by myself. <laughs> that was so cute. So I, I know I'm a little all over the place, guys. Sorry. Um, let's practice shapes with Willow on her little nesting blocks. She is already walking like t a top-notch infant toddler baby child she is so uh good because we did really well in the infant stage which is exciting but man do i love her does she not like aliens girl you've never even met an alien how do you know you don't like aliens i don't know we're gonna meet some hopefully friendly aliens in the future that would be that would be great but today i do want to take willow over to the neighbor's house because i built a new house i am slowly working on the progress of updating all the houses in the neighborhood and kind of making like my own little sim save file but this is actually the pancakes house and they have a toddler and we're gonna go meet her today so it, they live right next door it's gonna be fun to go meet uh i believe her name is mariah and that will hopefully be willow's like best friend it's gonna be awesome so i'm kind of having fun building out the world around willow and kind of making it so that she has people to hang out with and and stories to be made so it'll be fun to do that too because i love building in the sims 4 we just got bills delivered how much is it we only have 496 dollars they're 1700 oh my word okay and we only have five bell peppers to sell, which doesn't get us that much. Uh, let's have mom come over and weed these and then water these. I'm hoping that that will make her feel a little bit better and put her in a better mood. And then again, Willow is just kind of hanging out, playing with her blocks. This is getting her skills up, her thinking skill. So that's amazing. And then communication would be really nice too. Dad's just sitting on the floor watching TV in the corner can he even i guess he can see the tv from here the the couch is kind of in the way that's such weird and he's watching the kids channel i don't know dad's doing his own thing <laughs> what 
Willow seems to be having a good time with her blocks. Like I said, I do want them to go over to the neighbor's house today. So we're going to have her do this round of blocks. And then we're probably just going to head on over. I think we'll have dad take her because he seems a bit bored. <laughs> All right, it looks like she is finished and dad wants to rough house play. We will let that happen. Look at her. She, she is so proud of herself all the time and it makes me so excited because uh, she just, she kind of knows. I feel like even from this age as a super sim, she is like, I know I'm going to be great. I know I'm going to, she's like, I just love things and I love having fun and I love doing things. Uh, but there it is, reach parenting level three. My favorite interaction in the game. Hopefully they're about to do, yes. Oh no, he's just gonna talk to her. Oh, this, we might get level three uh, communication. Oh, this is awesome. Yes, yes, yes. I do also want to have, wait, did she dug off a milestone? Or no, wait, she did. Studied shapes. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Did we get an uh, accomplishment for that? that I potentially just missed. No, we didn't even get a milestone unlock for that, but we did unlock it, but it didn't give us a little purple, a purple message. Oh, that, made me, that makes me sad. We can go into our tracker and track that one off. So that was studied shapes. So there is that one. Beautiful, we did it. And she is about to level up to communication is gonna become level three. Oh my, I feel like the toddler stage is going to be pretty fast. No, dad, keep talking to her. She's so close. No, she's so close. He's bored. Yeah, we definitely need to go over and uh, we need to go over to the, the neighbor's house. We'll just keep doing um some get to knows here. Is this going to help her communication? I don't know if we need to like do teach her how to talk or teach her how to do things like that. Tell her a funny story, you talk about the day. The communication is so close. There it is! <laughs> communication level three. Oh, and a hug. That's so cute. So reach communication level level three. Willow can now talk. And I believe this is a milestone. You guys, we're wow, this episode is booming. She can talk about toys, talk about trucks, yell at and say nonsense to others. She can ask for dessert and she can learn other socials, increasing other skills as well. Nice. So here it is. Yeah, we are definitely not getting the the milestone messages anymore, which makes me a little sad because that means I'm just gonna have to keep a super close eye on her uh milestones through the this tab which is fine we can do that um but there it is learn to talk let me pull up our tracker really quickly because she also hit communication level three and then we can go here and let's see where is learn to talk learn to talk there it is dang we are maxing out so much this is exciting and a lot of these actually you guys are like max the communication skill Where's the other ones? Max imagination, max thinking. So those should be relatively easy, I think. But everybody in the house seems bored. So I think it's time that we go and go to our neighbor's house and see the pancake family. We are going to take everybody. They just renovated their house. So they invited us over to go and say hi. And I, I think we should go do it. All right, everybody is coming, obviously. <laughs> We're all in the same room. Like, hey, want to go to the neighbor's house? Let's go visit the pancakes. So yes, they have an adorable, adorable, adorable daughter named Mariah. And I am so excited for Willow and Mariah to be besties. I plan to kind of age them up at the same time and like have them be friends throughout the series. So it's going to be fun. Another thing that I did when I built this house is I tried to make sure that it was uh, pretty similar to the original layout. It is a little tiny bit bigger, but let's go ahead and knock on the door for dad. Everybody can kind of like go... Go here, go inside. Mom loves hugging Willow. They have fountains. Uh, I tried to look at the wiki too and like, oh, I forgot to move that rug. That rug is not supposed to be there. But the house you can see is relatively similar to how it originally was. It's just uh, got a lot of new items and the structure of the stairs. Bob is out here swimming. I did add a pool just because I felt like the pancakes are very like materialistic and they would definitely have like a pool going on now where is mariah i hope i hope mariah is actually here is she upstairs somewhere 
uh i feel like i hear her i also kept the pancakes having separate bedrooms so this is eliza's room and then this is bob's room over here they have their own bathrooms and everything like that oh yeah mariah's upstairs oh she is so cute so let's go talk to stranger and then play with mariah Oh, they're gonna be new besties and I'm so excited. Look at her climb the stairs like a champion. She knows there's another toddler in here. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this friendship. I know it's a little bit like, I don't know. It's weird to get excited about this, but look at them. Two little toddler besties. So this is Mariah. She is so, so, so cute. She is obviously Eliza and Bob's daughter. And I know that canonly or maybe not so canonly, they have a um they have a son i think but in my game they actually autonom autonomously had a daughter and so i went in and just yeah uh it's it really means a lot to me that you make time for me just wanted to let you know wow that is that is deep for a toddler to have that much uh, awareness but we can go talk about toys talk about trucks we could sing a song together very cute I just want to build their friendship. And it looks like we already have a sentiment with Mariah. That's so fun. Plan a stay over. Oh, that would be cute. Growing closer from quality time. Look how adorable she is. Acquaintance and neighbor. Neither friend nor foe. Just the average relationship. Can they play together? I'm curious. I don't actually know. Shape, stack, stack, help. Dad's coming to see if they're... They're playing nicely with each other, which they definitely are. They're having a cute little toddler conversations. Dad's getting a phone call. Who's calling? Of course. Uh, it's good to hear your voice, Will. I wanted to ask you if I should get to know Eleanor uh, Eldenberry a little bit better as a friend. Uh, sure. I guess you should go for it. I don't know. So this will be interesting. Um, oh, are we, are we reading? I guess we're, he's, all right. He, Will is going to read to the children. Uh, no, we're reading to the children right now. I'm sorry. Sorry, Will Senior. But uh, some books are being read. And I think that this might be... Oh, Eliza's here. Hello, Eliza. Her and Will are um, pretty close buddies, I like to think. Is this... Okay, I guess the reading's not happening. That's fine. I wish I could have them, like, play together. I don't know if that's a thing that we can do and have her come and hug. It looks like Mariah's a little shy. She's just kind of hanging out over here. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. There she goes on her movement skill. She's getting pretty tired, so we won't spend too much time here, but I do want to plan them to have a toddler play date because that is one of the parties in the game that I do want to get a gold level on. Acquire the imagination skill. Toddlers with imagination play in their own worlds. Imagination skill uh, teaches toddlers to read and create fantastical worlds with their toys. Oh no. No, she just gained the aggressive quirk. It is becoming clear that Willow is a little more aggressive than other toddlers. Aggressive toddlers like to roughhouse and are quick to hit, bite, and kick sims. So as long as they aren't good friends, they don't even have to be angry like other toddlers. Watch out. Oh no, I don't like that. That makes me so sad. I don't want her to be aggressive. She's just such a cutie. No, <laughs> that genuinely makes me so sad. It looks like Eliza and Mariah are going to have some time just to, just to hang out. There she goes, going, going down the stairs. Oh, uh, I know it happens, but it makes me... It makes me so sad still. Anyways, we are going to definitely invite Mariah on a play date. I think I'm going to have the family head home. And uh, we, we got to talk to the pancakes. I know we didn't really get to talk to Bob and Eliza too much, but that's okay. We're going to just head home and then we are going to go visit the daycare that I built and hopefully have a toddler play date with Mariah. There's also actually another family that I wanted to go meet um, that have a toddler. They live in San Sequoia, I believe. So we're going to head over there soon and maybe tomorrow in game when she's a little bit happier. And we will go visit that family and see if they want to be friends. Okay, we have a super aggressive, angry toddler on our hands. So we're going to do a bedtime story from Will and try to get her to go to sleep. She's just, she's not happy right now. I think we also should probably uproot these plants because they're out of season. So we'll have Wilhelmina come and do that. And then potentially we need to figure out how to get more plants or 
Uh, another thing we could do is maybe get a computer and have the dad write some stories. That could be a way that we make a little extra money in this, in this game. All right, it is a reading time, bedtime. All right, quick story for bed. We are good. I'm going to take care of the rest of the family's needs and we will come back tomorrow with some more progress. Willow's awake and she is on the move. That's right. She's uh, really grumpy and apparently asking for grilled cheese. I'm going to turn off this just in case uh, copyright issues. Um, but yeah, are you... Don't put her in the high chair. Don't put her in the high chair. Don't put her in the high chair. Please don't put her in the high chair. I'm just going to have her go and grab some mac and cheese. That is over here. I mean, close enough, right? Grilled cheese, mac and cheese. They got a similar-ish flavor-ish, kind of. Just very cheesy. So I like to have the toddlers eat by themselves. It's just so much more efficient than battling with the high chair, even though we do technically have a high chair uh, that, that they can use. It's just so much better not to have to do that. So Will is going to eat her uh, grilled cheese breakfast with her fingers. Yes. <laughs> and then we are going to have her do a little bit more potty training. And then today, I think we're going to try to do a toddler play date. I think that would be really fun. But first we need to go and we actually need to have her meet that other toddler that we were going to meet. I don't know their name, so I'm excited to actually go th go and meet them. How did how did she reach up there? That's what I want to know. How did she put the plate up there? The Sims makes no sense. Mom, that's a huge thing of trash. What are you doing? Throw that away. Goodness gracious. All right, it is time for more potty training with Willow. Her movement skill is cruising because she's walking around everywhere. Um, but yeah, once we once we get this to level three, that's going to be awesome. We're just going to have her do her thing. Like, uh, like I said, she's an independent Sim, so she kind of likes to do things on her own. She doesn't really like when uh, an adult comes and helps, even though sometimes they, they will want to. Well, you can tell that Willow successfully went potty. Uh, we're going to have the parents come and clean up everything. And it looks like they're chit-chatting, which is good. But we're going to go over here in just a little bit. I want to make sure all of her needs are met, which, yes, it looks like they are. Watch TV. Okay, we can turn on the TV. Uh, look at book. That would be cute. Imagination skill level two, though. Okay. Uh, let's go. Let's go travel. Let's go meet uh, the other neighbors that we were going to meet. I mean, technically, I guess they're not really neighbors. Wait a second. What are they? What are they doing? Ah, teach to talk. Okay. That's fine. She already, I thought it was going to be shapes or something like that. Because we actually do need to do that. But we're just going to have them travel. We're going to bring the whole family. And then we are going to go meet some toddler friends that we can have a toddler play date with. All right. So we are going to have to go all the way to San Sequoia for this. And I actually can't remember what family it is. Is it the Michelson family? I think it might have been the Michelson. No, it was the Robles. Right? No, it wasn't the Robles. Ah, uh, it was the Robles Ruano. Um, but we also have another family that we can meet with, which is exciting. The Michelsons. Do they have a toddler? Or is that an infant? I think that might be an infant. I can't tell from the picture. I just want Willow to have as many friends as possible so that when she goes to high school and, and elementary school, she can have Sims to grow up with. I think it'll be fun for this, for the challenge and also just for like kind of story purposes, I guess. Oh, wow. I've never seen this house before. It looks super nice. Oh, there's their daughter right there. She looks like she's going to go play with the castle. Let's go talk to stranger. Do not kick her. Be nice. <laughs> Be nice, Willow. I swear. There we go. Okay, mom's here. Oh my god, the little wave is so cute. I've never seen that before. Look at them go. So her name is Tala? It's goodbye. Bye. Why? Why? Don't be mean. Talk about trucks, sing songs. Let's see. Let's just do a lot of friendly interactions. Uh, interest. Talk about toys. What kind of toys do you like? I gotta say, the little gnome in the background really makes it. Like, that is so cute. So you wonder if they become better friends. Yeah, we can make funny faces. That's fun. Uh, if more things unlock, I'm not quite sure. You have 24 hours to pay your bills before the power gets shut off. I totally forgot about that. We need to do that. So we definitely want to have mom meet some of the adults. Oh, it looks like the uh, doll is her name. She just left. Ah, oh, communication level four reached. Exciting. We are cruising through the skills. I, I mean, we did technically start with a boost, so that makes things a little bit easier. But, oh man, oh man. 
That is awesome. Okay, let's go and knock on the door because I think there's a dollhouse in this house that the kids can play with together. So that would be really fun. What kind of stuff do they have back here? They have a, the whole tree house, which is really cool. They have some gardening plots. I have never seen this house before. So this is kind of cool to get to see this for the first time and go inside. Whoa, what 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 is going on here? Uh, this is questionable. <laughs> what is happening in this room there's like old sports gear old boxes and a child baby that they apparently just had okay all right they have a guarded off kids area where's the where's okay they have a nice bathroom oh here's the here's the playhouse oh my god it's broken no that sucks yeah, someone can fix this so the kids can play together. I think there is another one upstairs, though, that they could possibly play with. Someone, Wilhelmina, please come fix this. What the heck? Who broke the dollhouse? Let's have her come talk to this bear and be nice to it in hopes that maybe she'll, she'll develop a, a non-aggressive soft side. <laughs> I think once they have a trait, that's that they have a trait and that's kind of it. Wait, can we buy? <gasps> we can. Oh no, this is collections. I thought we could go to the reward store. I don't think we can do that yet. There we go. Mom is coming to fix the dollhouse, which is so exciting because I think the kids can play together with this, which would be so much fun. Let's have a uh, mom join playing dolls. I don't know if the kids can play together, but it'd be cute for mom to join in. Wow, I've never really looked at this castle up close, but man, this thing is, uh, this thing is quite realistic. This would be really fun to recreate, actually. She's still over here playing with dolls. This is great. This is getting her imagination skill up, which we definitely need. Looks like mom kind of stopped because she's like, I didn't, don't really want to play with dolls anymore. But any communication imagination we can, we can do is good. All right, so I believe we met, uh, we, well, we met the family uh, here. So I think we're going to go back and we're going to try to do a toddler play date. I think that would be awesome. Let's actually have you go and give a friendly introduction uh, just so mom knows the adults. So this is Jay Ro Robles, I think is his name, uh, which is he seems pretty nice. We're yeah, definitely going to have mom come over and, and meet them. Can we Oh, invite to play dolls? Wait, that's so cute. Hopefully they can they can play together. All right, the parents are meeting each other. The kids are playing dolls. I think this is going to be a beautiful friendship, I think. Why does Willow look like a vampire? I am Vampire Willow in my giant vampire castle. <laughs> I don't know why, but I could definitely see Tala becoming a vampire in the future. That I don't know. I think that'd be a fun storyline for her. Tala could be like Willow's vampire friend. <laughs> Wait, that is so synchronized and so cute what the heck oh my gosh they're holding the dolls like up up together that's so fun hmm. well amina and jay seem to be getting along pretty well so uh i guess that's good friends uh and family reach an imagination level too exciting for playing with dolls that is so good yes 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 i like having these two talk to each other it's a great way to get Willow's communication skill up, and uh, they just seem to be having a good time. Like, they seem to be getting along a little bit better than her and Mariah. Mariah was a little bit more shy, a little bit more closed off, but I feel like Tala is um, just more open, so it's been it's been easy for Willow to, to talk to her. Oh, they can hug! Wait, I want to see them hug. That's so cute. I hope she's going to play with dolls first, though. She's really enjoying this dollhouse. It makes me wonder if maybe we should get her one. They're just a little bit expensive and we don't have too much money. So I'm kind of thinking about having the dad become a writer. I feel like that would be good because then he can make money from home as kind of like a little side hustle kind of thing uh, and write some books and get royalties. I think that'd be a good way to do it. Oh yeah, Tala. Oh, get in the remote. <laughs> oh my gosh, Tala's going crazy over here in the dresser oh these two are gonna be trouble i just know it oh no she didn't like her hug uh she's still feeling accomplished though. she's like fine whatever <laughs> a sassy attitude that's kind of funny their friendship's pretty good though i don't know i guess tall is maybe just like not into the 
into personal, not into personal, like she's like, get, don't get in my personal space, which totally makes sense. The, the toddler skills only go to five and she is so close. She's at 94% on communication on level four. So if we keep talking to Tala, then she's, she's going to hit level five. You guys, she's going to be done with communication today. That is insane. Lifestyle gained. Wilhelmina has unlocked the outdoorsy lifestyle. That definitely is fitting for her. Talk about favorite show. Talk about trucks. There it is. Oh my gosh. We maxed our first skill in episode one. That is so, or uh, toddler episode one. That's so exciting. I cannot believe we just maxed that skill. That's crazy. So we got a milestone for this. We've got Max the communication skill. So I think it's time we pull up our tracker. Also, how many days do we have? We have 26 days and we've already maxed the skill. Like I, I think the toddler phase is gonna go a lot quicker than the infant phase. I don't wanna like speak too ahead of things, but that is, I, I'm beyond excited. That's crazy to me. All right, these two are gonna go cause some mischief. I don't know what's going on. I think Will is going to the bathroom. Yeah, Will is just gonna go to the bathroom and Tall is gonna learn from her, I guess. Yep, okay. <laughs> Tall is just watching Willow go to the bathroom. That's so funny. No, 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 Willow go. No, 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 no. Willow, you gotta go potty. She's like, I, I really gotta go potty. And I'm gonna show you how to go to the bathroom. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, while well, this oh yeah, you guys can't even see this. Tala is um in the bathroom with Willow, like literally watching her go to the bath. Hey, best friends for life. What can I say, right? All right, so we maxed the what was it? What skill did we max? Why am I forgetting already? Oh my gosh, first childhood friend. Tolerano became Willow's first friend outside of the family. Holy cow, this is so exciting. Okay, so we have, uh, uh, what is this? Max communication. So that's down here. And first childhood friend, we only have one more social to do and then we're finished. And then we also maxed out the communication skill. Oops, there we go. Hey honey, it's dad. When are you going to come visit? I put all my love and effort into raising you. You can at least drop by once in a while and tell your dad you love them, can't you? Oh my gosh, I'll visit you tomorrow. Sorry, dad. Oh goodness, that makes me that that makes me feel so sad. Like actually so sad. What? Okay, where where is Will by the Will? What are you doing here? Why are you all the way over here by yourself? I guess he really wasn't filling the Robo's house. That's I don't know why he's over there. That's so weird. Anyways, Willow, how you doing? Did you um get your potty training skill up? You didn't. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We have time to do that. But I think it's time for everybody to go home. The Robles were super nice, super welcoming. Tala is is Willow's best friend. So we definitely are going to see more of her in the future. Uh, but let's go home and let's go try to get some more stuff done. There's a fire. <laughs> well, I mean, it always starts fires. Willow, be the how. Go extinguish it. This is your responsibility. I was just gonna... Okay, she's... Okay. Why are you bringing Willow next to the fire? She's like, yep, let's go in and look at it. Oh, my word. Okay, looks like you are gonna have to be the... Will, you're gonna have to come in and extinguish this. He is freaking out. The whole family's freaking out. I mean, I honestly... I don't blame them. Look at this place, you guys. You're just leaving your house to burn down. What are you doing? There's just something about this house, I swear, that it just attracts fires. And I don't understand it. Okay, he's freaking out. We're gonna have him stop. He needs to, okay, yeah, call the fire department, I guess. Is he gonna go in to call the fire department? He's running in. He's gonna be brave. He's like, I can't. The fire is spreading. We need someone to extinguish it. Ah, he's like, I can't, I can't call the fire department, please. I hope you don't get caught on fire. This is a bad fire. This is one of the worst fires I've ever seen. Thanks for calling. Firefighters are on their way to help now. In the meantime, get to safety. All right, let's, uh, oh, firefighters are here. Beautiful. Okay, this is like a really terrible fire. This is so bad. Okay, he's making sure. Oh, why is he afraid of her? Go on and do your job. Is this Mariah? No, this is Tommy. Here we go. I love that they added firefighters to the game. <laughs> they actually come in and help now and like extinguish the fire, which is really nice. Look at him go. Look at him go. Yes. 
Please put the fire in the corner out. Oh my gosh, the Willow Sup Super Sim household received 1,600 and the insurance payment for the items. The fire was put out, thank you so much. But oh my gosh, well, this is good you guys because we can actually pay our bills now. Um, I was starting to kind of get rid of some stuff. I got rid of the planting pots or planters here, um, but we can actually pay our bills now. And the exciting thing too, is I bought them a little cross stitching so that Wilhelmina could start cross stitching hopefully. But holy cow, what an episode. Uh, ending it with a fire, I think. <laughs> Um, anyways, guys, yeah, I think that's gonna have to do it for this episode of the Super Sim Challenge. Willow doesn't seem too, um, pleased about the fire. <laughs> Is it just me, or does Willow seem like she's almost a teenager, despite being a toddler? She's like a little mini teenager. She's kind of sassy, kind of aggressive. She's already got a best friend. She's already super independent. Like, I feel like she is in her teenager stage, even being a super sim toddler. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I feel like we got a great amount of progress done. I mean, you guys, we maxed out our first skill in the first days of being a toddler. That is insanely exciting. So in the next episode, I want to do a toddler play date party. I think that's going to be very, very fun. So stay tuned for that and don't forget to head down below, subscribe, we're trying to grow this channel and don't forget to leave a like so more people can see this super sim challenge. But thank you guys so much for watching, hope you all have a very beautiful, wonderful day and I will talk to you in the next super sim challenge episode where hopefully we will have no fires, please. <laughs> Alright, bye guys!